I, I know that uh, my favorite actor, Jeffrey Jones, a uh, very good gentleman to share files with. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Um, he was also the principal in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yes, yeah, I brought this up to Jess when we were watching this movie. A bit of trouble. Right, so what was his name again? Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones. I, I like him. He's awesome, man. He's in trouble right now. Uh, I think he's, he's served his time. I remember him, like you said, principal from Ferris Bueller. Yeah, principal Ferris Bueller, the uh, scientist in Howard the Duck. Um, ah, he's a sex offender as well. Oh, now, this no. is back in 2010. He was 64 years old, so now he's 74 years old. He was originally convicted in 2002 of his original crimes, and then he failed to... Uh, so it says here in 2003 he pled guilty or no contest to hiring a 14 year old boy to pose for ex- uh, sexually explicit photos, and then uh, oh. after he was busted for that he failed to register as a sex offender. Well, I'm not much of a fan anymore. Jeez. Yeah. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's that's a shame. Yeah, uh, so... Um, and <laughs> Do you think his legacy is tarnished from this whole situation? Well, anybody that st- I... I believe in him as a principal. Dude, anybody that I bring this up to, they don't know what the fuck this ever happened. <laughs> oh, dude, you bring right? this up regularly? I bring this up in job interviews. <laughs> you know, I, like, they're like, hey, uh, so what makes you want to work for McDonald's? You talk to your and therapist I, about it. <laughs> yeah, I talk to him about, no, about <laughs> how I feel bad, you know, for this icon, this 80s icon. Uh, now that he's now his he was also in this cool movie called Ravenous. Have you ever seen Ravenous? No. Um, if you don't mind taking a look at Ravenous, Guy Pierce, uh, also that one freaky uh, blonde haired guy with uh, really bright blue eyes, uh, and then um, who else was in it? Uh, I can't remember, but it's about it's during the Civil War. Um, ah, there's Jeffrey Jones during the Civil War. Uh, this guy sends, gets sent to this outpost, and it turns out that people are, are kind of cannibals there. And this one guy starts eating people, but in this movie they portray it so that, like, it heals you and it makes you, like, stronger. So at the end they have this battle where these guys are eating eating guys and they're all, rah, not guy, just guys, and, you know, dead women and men. Well, sure. Maybe children, I guess, uh, depending on how rough it is. They are more tender. <laughs> Oh, uh, but they're, but they're yeah like fighting each other and then one of them will take a bite of you know cannibal meat and he's all yeah I have the power you know it's it's kind of a cool movie it's a uh, it's pretty interesting um, I think if there was one time to really it would be shitty to live during it would be during those frontier days during like the the post Civil War days everything was just all dusty. I don't mm-hmm. think uh, toilet paper was invented until, like, what, 1896 or something? Yeah, it was pretty late. <clears throat> they didn't put two two together, like, my ass is so shitty. What should I do with this? They were still mm-hmm. using leaves or sticks or hands. Or horses' hooves. Horses' hooves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bar that hoof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, can you pull up the poster? The poster's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> for Ravenous. For the toilet paper? Yeah, for the toilet paper. Uh, there should be a... Poster with a guy Pierce or something. Could you imagine convincing people that first year? Paper. Oh, they're it's like, paper. We're oh, not gonna buy this. I just wipe with my hand, and they're like, <laughs> "Sir, you have to really buy this." Uh, Is this the one you wanted? Yes. Yeah. That's. A, I would definitely recommend that. And because it's a period piece, I think it definitely holds up more so than other movies might. If you guys can, you think of any uh, period pieces that. Really, that you can rewatch that don't. I mean, they're almost timeless because they're set somewhere else, you know, in a different time. Uh, and anything jump to your mind right away? Back to the Future Part Three. Howard the Duck. Uh, oh, <laughs> how, oh, well, that Howard the Duck is set in the present in the 1980s, but I, I could give you points for nostalgia it's, if you're going to look at it that way. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, Alan, what was yours? I forgot. Oh, okay. He said Back to the Future 3. Part 3, yeah. So Back to the, the West. Th- oh, okay. And 1883! <laughs> and you feel that still holds up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that part does. Still holds up as uh, not a great movie. Yeah, but there- dude, the steam engine train was a brand new thing. What about the kid grabbing his crotch? Jeffrey Jones would like that. 
<laughs> I don't recall this part you're talking about. You've never heard about the whole controversy. No. It's controversy. What happened? About uh, this kid grabbing himself during uh, Back to the Future's train scene. Um, you, have, you haven't ever seen that? Like on the movie? Yeah, it's like in the movie, and people are like, why is he doing that? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like is he just he's a the, background actor? No, he's like the kid right there with Doc Brown. So... I can't find anything on this. Uh, if you Google... Oh, what is it? I'm going to uh, YouTube it. Kid touching I'm himself. It? No, back. I don't. Yeah, Google kid touching himself. That's a great No, idea. no, this back to the future. two weeks in three. a row you've given me bad search terms. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh, back to the future three scene controversy. That should pull it up. Because it's, I mean, it's pretty well known in, in cinema and... Kind of meme culture, too. Yeah, I never heard of this. You know, it's something that people have never really heard of. And then they go, what? That's in the movie? Is yeah. uh, Forrest Gump, where they first start having sex, and she gets on top of Forrest Gump. Oh, and he starts coming right away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was in the movie. It sure was. It was, but they don't have it on, like, TLC or whatever the fuck. Oh, no, they it. cut it out for cable. What yeah, you of course. Yeah, of course they're going to cut that out. And, they and watch... you know what they put in there in its place is him talk uh, a small line about how he made some investment with some fruit company. You see that it's Apple or Macintosh. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. 